Hello ladies and gentlemen who are watching the video series of School Freewares and who want to learn Pascal and how to use Lazarus or Lazarus or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to tell you, not that I love the TV series Bones, which you can obviously see through my desktop wallpaper, but rather I wanted to tell you how to install it on a Mac, which is not that easy. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to know what you're installing. So if we go to Google and type in the stuff that we need, so Lazarus, you'll see this. So now you will basically go to LazarusFreePascal.org and on the Downloads tab right here, we click there and now we will be brought to an uh, site on behalf of SourceForge, which is right there. And basically we search for our OS, which is um, Mac OS in this case, uh, either PowerPC or i386. I have Intel, so I have to choose i386. And now we go to the latest release, which is the one which is named uh, accordingly. And in old releases, you'll only find old releases. Basically, now we need to install. Uh, we now now we need to download both DMGs, the Lazarus um, whatever version it is, i386 Mac OS 10, and also the FPC, not the FPC source, um, whatever version it is, into Mac OS 10 dead DMG. After that is done, you can install Lazarus from its DMG like normal by um, actually it's a package you'll get. But if you try to run Lazarus later on, you'll see that it stops and basically it cannot compile anything. It'll tell you of something about compilers and stuff. But don't worry. Don't, don't not worry. You have me, okay? So actually what you need to do, sorry I have to readjust my microphone. My stand is really being stupid, uh, stupid on me. So I'm sorry the microphone quality is not as it normally is and you can see that I'm struggling with a mi <laughs> microphone stand oh my gosh okay so behalf of my stupid microphone stand what else do you have to do so you need to go to your app store and then you need to search for the program called Xcode this is a program that comes not with Mac OS 10 Lion and also with 10.6 and stuff like that and um, in Lion, you actually need to get this from the App Store, okay? So you can just install it, it's for free, and it's normally meant to develop um, apps for, you know, stuff like the Mac and the iPhone. But we'll use it for something completely different. We use it to install the FPC, the Free Pascal Compiler, a program needed to make a program out of your source code you type in Lazarus. So actually now you need to run Xcode. Xcode, where are you? Hello, there you go. So just run Xcode. And if you run Xcode, don't, you know, choose anything in here. You can even close the window and you go up to Xcode preferences. And if you're in the preferences, install the command line tools. You'll be asked for a password and I'll be glad to enter it. Just install the software and it can take a while because it's 180 megabytes. And um, we'll wait for that and then come back for the FPC part. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and mount the DMG. So see you in a minute. We are near completed and we are done. So that's the Xcode part actually of that. So we can close out of Xcode. And now well, this is the DMG. Uh, for the FPC just to prove that it won't work if you don't have that FPC um, Let me just get at Lazarus And try to compile a program so we click all the menus away and stuff like that And you'll see it'll open up like if it what if it was working, but now we click the green arrow to run the program and You can see that it does not exist that it cannot compile it just doesn't work 
Good. So now that that's proven, we have to run the FPC 2.6.0 Intel Mac OS 10 dot package file and we go to next, next, and next, and we accept the license agreement. And then we basically install the software. There we go, the software is installing, files are written, and um, yeah, it does not take long as you've seen. Now I can unmount the disk image, and we can again open up Lazarus. You'll see that sometimes it will come up like this, but eventually it does work. So actually, I'm pretty stupid, and I can tell you that we need the FPS, uh, FPCSRC package to download. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty stupid, as I told you already. So we need to download that package, uh, or else it won't it it won't work. So please, oh, it's downloading. So yeah, I was pretty stupid. I thought that the um, F uh, PC source, you know, image was the source code of the program, which it wasn't. It's another component that is needed. And that was my phone growing off. But as you can see, it's not a source code. It's not C or anything, but rather it's a software package. So you go ahead and just install that too. And there we go. I mean, it's installing. It doesn't take long as the other one did. And now we can unmount the disk image. And now we try Lazarus again. There you go. No error messages. Nothing. Now let's just edit the form and give it give it a name. You do that by editing the caption. Next thing we do is we place a little, actually you have to return it. Next thing we do is add a little string to it by clicking on those uh, ABC thingies. And this is a label. And basically we also change its caption. To something like hello world. Our string is ready, we can place it anywhere on the form, and also we can edit the form to a size that we want. There we are. Now I can click the green arrow on the top of uh, our nifty little Lazarus. It says it has compiled successfully. Now it'll start up, and there's our little nifty form, which we can move around, we can close also, and there we are. And basically, that's it for the setup tutorial of Lazarus. So uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Have fun with the tutorials of school freeware and goodbye.